The Loch Ness Monster is one of our most enduring myths. People have sought its secrets for over 1,500 years. But only one man has devoted his entire life to learning the truth. Alone, in a van, by the lock. And no, he's not a wacko. It's just his thing. My name's Steve Feltham, and for the last 25 years, I've been a full-time hunter of the Loch Ness Monster. I first came to Loch Ness when I was a seven-year-old boy and found this set of caravans with this gang of grown men hunting for monsters in Loch Ness. And I thought, that's amazing. That would be the life for me. I'd love to do that. And so he did. 25 years ago, he quit his job, sold his house, bought this van and pursued his passion. He now holds the Guinness record for the longest continuous search at Loch Ness. In all my time here, I've only seen one possible sighting of something. All you saw was a spray of water off of the back of something. Boff, 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 boff. Like a torpedo going, shooting through. To this day, that remains a mystery to me as to what that was. That was in the first year of being here, and I thought, right, this job's gonna be really easy. That's one sighting. 25 years later, I'm still sat here waiting for that second sighting. Some people think it's giant eels. Some people think there's a rip in time. Others believe there's a spaceship on the bottom of the loch. It's more likely to turn out to be big catfish than a spaceship on the bottom of the loch. The reason I sit here and I try and solve this mystery is because that's what makes my heart sing. People say, is it lifestyle or is it the mystery? It's both. My life contains freedom, adventure, unpredictability, and the chance of one of the world's greatest discoveries should I ever happen to find Nessie. It's a dream come true. If that little seven-year-old boy could see what became of him, he wouldn't believe his luck. <laughs>